as, as far as Andre Ward, though, is, that, is that motivation to you, Mikey, when you see guys that have gone through? I mean, Bernard Hopkins, a lot of guys, you're not the first guy to go through. Does that keep you motivated a little bit and, and through this whole situation? Cause I know um, it's only been two years. Look, it's the motivation. I mean, that, that helps as, as far as support. You know, that, that lifts my spirit up knowing that there's other fighters that are, are, are in a way, you know, they feel for me. They, they can, they can uh, relate and they... Um, they show support, you know, by, yeah. by sending, you know, a, a quick message through, through you or through me yeah. or stuff like that. that. That shows support and I, I appreciate that. But the uh, motivation that keeps me here is uh, the fact that I know that in the end I'll have a better career. I'll, I'll, I'll have a stronger, better career um, where I, I don't have to uh, be fighting for, for, for something that I deserve. I don't have to be fighting and arguing for something that I, that I deserve. Um, that I've earned, yeah. Um, and also, I mean, a little bit. It might be a little bit of, of ego in there, you know, a little bit of of uh, ego inside me. But uh, I want I want to make sure that things are done right, and that the people who deserve to be, you know, put in their place get to be put in their place. Mm -hmm. You know, we walk away, wash our hands. Yeah, I may be able to fight quickly and just you know turn things around. Um, but I mean, is that is it the right thing to do? You know, I, I, I that's it's kind of hard for me to decide. Yeah. You know, I could I could easily probably start negotiations about settling. We've been talking about you know maybe you know settling something and for the past you know six months we've been trying to get something going. We just haven't been there. Yeah. We haven't done it. But um, you know if we went that route, we might be able to get 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 things done faster, and I get to you know get back in the ring sooner. But is it the right thing to do? Do I feel it's the the, the right thing? That's kind of undecided. I mean, part of me says, yes, let's do this. I get back in the ring. I get what I want. Boom, we're done. But another part says, you know, hey, you know, I've already invested too much time in here. I've, I've lost time from fighting. I mean, where would I be right now in the last two years, you know, if I had been active? Yeah. You know, I've lost money from not fighting. You know, I, I, would, I probably would have had, you know, in two years, three fights a year, six fights. You know, let's just say four to six fights, and, you know. Where would I be right now? You know, what kind of titles or whatever, I, you know, I would have earned already. So it's like kind of hard for me to just ignore all that mm -hmm. and, and move on. So, I mean, just that's that's kind of what also motivates me to keep this fight going. Because, like I said, I know that in the end, the the career that I will have from now on will be a lot better. And it, it will be, you know, something that I, that's roughly mine. And talk to me about uh, Neno had a big win yeah. in Vegas, and you've been sparring him. He told me you've been sparring him since he was a kid, like he was a teenager. Yeah. I mean, how how how, how impressed you would be with him because you know they have Verdejo, but now you, you see you know Saul coming up. And I mean, how how how, how do you rank him? Especially you've been in the ring with him, so, you know, and and see Neno, what he can do. Neno Neno's a good fighter. He's a very good fighter. He hits very hard. I've always said you know he has you know, good power, very good power in both hands. Um, He's very confident in, in himself. He carries, you know, that confidence in him. I think they had asked him, you know, something about the fight, and Pita had said, you know, it's it's probably going to be the fight of the night for the show. I mean, yeah. it, it, it shows everything on paper. Like, it could be fucking fight of the year candidate, you know, because it's going to be a, both fighters, you know. And then I says, no, 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 that ain't going to be fight of the year. Fuck no. He said fight that? Of, fight of the year, yeah, it's got to be hard and a bra, and everybody's going to be beating up on each other. Fuck no, it's going to be easy for me. I'm going to knock him out quick. It ain't gonna be fight of the year, you know. He he's that confident in, in his power and his abilities, wow. in his training, you know what he's learned here with my brother, with myself, you know, with yeah. the other guys sparring, and it shows. You know, he went in there and you know he hurt him with that left hook and then stopped him after that. So, um, you know, that's very good. Verdejo's a, a great fighter. He's got good good skills. Um, they've been pumping him up a lot. They've been mm -hmm. pumping him a lot. He's Puerto Rican, so they they you know they pump him a lot. They got a good fan base. Um, I don't think that fight would ever happen right now. No. Yeah. If anything, maybe down the line, a few years from now, when they're both champions or one's a champion, the other one's a champion, come moving up in weight class, something like that. But um, it'll definitely be a good, uh, good fight because you got two young guys, undefeated fighters, who want to be the best, and you know, one's in front of the other, and they're just right below each other, maybe. But on skills, they probably have the same. You know, it's just the publicity or the, you know media behind them. And then Mikey, just ask for the fans, man, what do you want to tell them, man? Uh, my eyes are still pound for pound fighting, not fighting, though, man, but, uh, you know, just for all the fans, you know, what do you want to tell them? Ah, oh, man, it's been uh, almost two years since my last fight. I mean, it seems like, just like a broken record, and I'll be back soon, I'll be back soon. 
honestly, I don't know when I'll be back. I mean, I, we were hoping, you know, we would be back this year, earlier this year, first quarter of the year, mm. by the first half of the year. It just hasn't happened, you know. Um, but I do, I do uh, have uh, hope that it will be soon. Um, things do shape up. It just takes so much time, man. It's so slow. But every process, everything is, is going my way. Everything seems to be, you know, showing that I'm in control. I'm little by little. I'm, I'm winning this, and I will be out, you know, and and, and I will be back. Um, just want to appreciate, you know, everybody. Thank everybody for all the support, man. Everybody that, you know, messaged me through, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, sometimes like I say I get a few haters here and there. They, <laughs> they don't agree with my opinion. They don't agree with my you know, opinion or whatever, but hey, everybody's, you know, as a everybody fan. Everybody has their own opinion. You have one opinion as a fan. I'm giving you my opinion as what I saw, what I know, my, if you want to call it my expert opinion. Because you know what it is to be in there, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but, you know, fans won't understand that. Mm -hmm. Some fans may not understand that. You're, going, you're saying something bad about their, their, their uh, fighter that they believe in. It's, it's, it's not going to be, you know, nice, you know, whatever they have to answer, but... I mean, I give my opinions and that's it, but I still get a lot, most everything, everybody, you know, messages me, you know, wishing me, you know, good luck and then wish that I was back, you know, everybody misses me, stuff like that, and that's always wonderful. That shows me that people, people really do care for me. They, they need me, they, they want to see me in the ring, they mm -hmm. want to see me back, they miss my fights, they miss me in the ring, so, um, you know, I do want to come back. I've always told them, at the end of the day, I mean, one of the things that I, I really, really love is, you know, the support from the fans, from the, from the supporters that take time off their schedule to go see me for a few minutes in the ring or just to have a quick, you know, time to say hi to me or shake yeah. my hand, stuff like that. That's the, the most wonderful feeling, better than the number of belts that you've earned or, or, or the knockout victory or the money that you're earning. I mean, it's the applause or the hugs, you know, the, that that's that's you know I, I enjoy the most and that's that's what I miss the most actually you know the the fan support like that walking into the ring and the fans getting up cheering you on as you're you know leading you into the, the ring and trying to reach over to just quickly shake your hand with a big smile on their face and that's yeah. what I miss the most I mean the fight itself you know that's that's what I train for that's my that's my job yeah but you know the fans the, the support that I get from them that's wonderful man and I've always said it you know just getting messages from people from around the world wishing me, you know, that they see me in the ring soon and wishing me luck and everything. That's amazing, dude. That's that's unbelievable sometimes. Like, I can't believe that these people actually take time from their schedules to try to reach out to me, yeah. you know, to try to say hi. And and when I reply to them, it, 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 it changes them. It, it, it makes them have a better day, maybe. You know, they tell me, you know, oh, my God, I can't believe you actually responded to me. Well, I try to respond to just about everybody. Sometimes that's, I just can't. That's so cool. But I try. And for me to make them feel better, make their day go, you know, better, just with a quick reply, that's amazing to me. That's like, I can't believe that happened. It's, it's still, I, I don't know, I almost can't understand how I could have that effect on people. And that's what I really, really love about, you know, the support and, you know, that the fans give me. You know, just the other day I was, uh, I put on Instagram this picture, because, what is this? Uh, military oh, from, yeah, from, yeah. from the UK. Um, they sent me some guy who was uh, his name's Andy. He uh, he had been messaging me on on, on Instagram DM uh, direct messages and then uh, so just a couple messages. He asked him about fights and what you know what am I you know thinking about Canelo Cotto or mm -hmm. some fights and then he uh, sent me this. Um, and he and he sends me this direct messages. All my brothers. From Afghanistan, they're in Afghanistan. God, God bless, bless Mikey. Mikey. I'm like, damn, you know, that's that's awesome. Damn. You know, so then I put it up, you know, and and he he says, you know, he supports the gym. You know, he f watches all the fighters from the gym and everything. You know, Robert says, thank you and Rod GBA for the hard work and entertainment for the fans. Without your hard work, there wouldn't be boxing. You know, stuff like that. That's amazing. Man. That people take that. It's like, do they? See, I mean, they see us like we're, you know, mm -hmm. stars or like like. Uh, you know, different role model mm -hmm. type of thing. And honestly, I mean, I feel like I'm just a regular guy just doing <laughs> my job. You know, I just do my job and that's it. But to mm -hmm. them, it's not, you're not a, just a normal person. You're not just a normal guy. And that's what I really, really appreciate. And I really, really, you know. It's called being humble, Mike, that's what you are. That's why. Uh, you can say it's being humble, but I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just me. I'm yeah. not trying to yep. be anything that I'm not. It's just, 
Man, I want this so bad. What is that? ACR Viper. I went the other day to put the order. It was uh, 151. Ooh, Mikey, I need I a new car too, but I ain't getting that him. one. <laughs> I, told, I told them 140 out the door and they didn't want it. <laughs> ah, fucking then I'll have to wait till I do fight when I, when I could afford the extra 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Mikey. Always appreciate your time, man. Can't wait for you to be back in the ring. And I'll be back. At least we'll be talking about fights and everything Thanks, else, man. Bro. Yeah, anytime, man. Do you want to come down here talk some boxing? I'm always here. My guy. Appreciate <laughs> you, man. What's better than watching sports with your friends? Messi through four. Watching sports with your friends for free. Now there's a way. Catch free live sporting events, movies, and TV shows all on demand in high definition. Tiger Stream. Stream like a tiger.